Well, while many Americans want uh, wait for that federal stimulus money, local bank employees are depositing some goodwill into the economy. Most businesses are shutting down fully or partially to adapt to COVID-19 restrictions. Kettleland's Brady Mallory shows you how First Dakota National Bank is trying to ease the burden of uncertainty through a new program. These days, takeout orders aren't just for food. The owner of Child's Play Toys, Nancy Savage, temporarily closed her store on Monday. She's now relying on internet and to-go sales. People can, you know, pull up, give us a call, and we can run a bag out to their car. Savage made a special exception for us to go inside the store for the purposes of this story. We did follow safety guidelines while we were inside the building. Yeah. Chris Conrad actually shopped at Child's Play Toys via a video call and is picking up bags of toys he plans to donate to a local daycare. It's part of an effort from First Dakota National Bank which is giving employees like Conrad $148 to spend at local businesses. In whatever way they see fit, there's really no um, sort of restrictions on what we can do. Um, it's just to try and go out and make an impact the best we can. In total, First Dakota employees from all communities are spending just under $60,000 to boost the local economy. Savage says it's worth a lot to local businesses that are struggling right now. It's just hard to see that, and I worry about my friends. Conrad says First Dakota employees are proud to try to make a difference. These days, every takeout order is a kindness you're putting back into these empty stores. You know, we're all going through this together, um, and, you know, anything we can do as a group uh, to kind of help keep the economy going in these times where a lot of things are shut down, um, it just... We're trying to do everything that we can to, you know, help out. Brady Mallory, Kello Land News. Now, First Dakota says that employees can also donate their money to neighbors in need or buy their families a meal from a local restaurant. They just need to keep it local and not spend it at internet giants, big box stores, or online subscription services. The $148 amount reference the number of years that First Dakota has been in communities.